What's up guys, welcome to today's episode of The Daily What. I am your host, Sean Settles. Today I've got three things for you guys. I've got a health tip, got a physical tip or challenge, and then some inspiration to finish up. Let's start with that health tip. Okay, so today's health tip pertains to light. We talked about getting good, adequate amounts of sunlight the other day, but today we're gonna actually talk about making sure that we reduce the amount of light that we get, particularly at night. So our body recognizes light through our skin. We have receptors on our skin. We can see the light through our eyes and all these things stimulate our stress hormones. So it's important to make sure that we're minimizing that light at night. So what we can do at night is to make sure that you dim the lights down in your house. Start when the sun goes down. Again, for hundreds of thousands of years, we've been exposed to what the sun is doing and kind of going with those rhythms. So it's really important to try to mimic those rhythms. Rule of thumb is to kind of make sure that you're dimming the lights down at your house, preparing your body for rest, preparing your body for recovery, lowering those stress hormones so that your recovery hormones, melatonin, can have a chance to increase and give you proper recovery while you're sleeping. There are also ways to control the light exposure to your eyes if you're using your devices or watching TV. There are different types of sunglasses you can wear. At night, they're called blue blockers. Yeah, they look a little crazy, but they really do work. Putting them on for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, uh, while you're winding down at the end of the day really does help you get into that recovery mode. Putting yourself in that mode sets you up for a much better night's sleep, and we all know the important benefits of getting a great night's sleep. So today's physical tip is really simple. I just want you guys to walk for 15 minutes after dinner. So your last meal of the day today, that's my challenge for you, is to try to make sure that you go for a walk for 15 minutes minimum after dinner. Studies have shown that there are a tremendous amount of health benefits to going for a walk after dinner. First of all, you help balance out your blood sugar from all the food that you just ate that gets digested and converted into blood sugar rather than sitting there with it, watching TV or going straight to bed. You can burn a little bit of that, of that off by taking a little walk. Taking a walk after dinner not only burns blood sugar, but it's also a great way to help you get in that relaxative mode so that you can just have another way to set you up for a great night's sleep. Get that 15 minute walk in tonight after dinner. And today's inspirational message pertains to goals. It's always so important to know what your goals are, and that is the message today. Know specifically what it is that you wanna get done, whether that is monthly, weekly, daily, yearly. Make sure that you have something written down so that you kind of know what you're gonna do on a daily basis. And make sure they're visible. Have some sort of routine set up where you see your goals every day. It's such a simple thing, but it really will leave you with a sense of accomplishment. When you look at those goals every day, and a month or two months goes by, you achieve those goals, and you're making new ones. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit like and subscribe to the channel to see more. Feel free to share this video to anybody you think who might benefit from it.